my friends are since. The reason that I am currently sitting in a blacked out room trying to record this goddamn video for the who knows how many times since I keep fucking it up is because I wanted to introduce you to the latest circuit bent video enhancement unit that I have modified with my own fair hands. This one is the SEMA Pro Edit 3. It calls itself a video processing center of all things. And I think that is just because it has audio stuff in here as well as video processing. But to be honest, I don't really give a shit about any of the audio stuff. I'm not interested in circuit bending any of that. I'm only interested and focused on the video section, which is on the left here. Now this particular unit has got two inputs and two outputs. The two inputs are on composite for the video, so there is no S video in there. If you're interested in the audio side of things, they're also on RCA jacks, but I'm not gonna talk any more about the audio. The outputs are just the same, so it's mirrored as far as I can tell. It's not like multiple switchable outputs or anything like that. It's far too simple for that kind of thing. Now this is quite a plasticky old beast, but the one I got is really nice. It came with the original box, it came with the original power supply, and even with the manual, which I, um, have not bothered to read, partly because I didn't want to feel bad when I destroyed it. Anyway, I'm going to talk you through some of the stuff that this does and uh, what I've done to it, partly because I'm trying to convince you to buy it, because I have realized that as I've been circuit bending more and more of these things, they've kind of been building up and I don't really need to have, you know, 25 of these lying around the house. They all do similar things. And part of the joy for me is just seeing what I can do with them. So if you are interested, there'll be a link below. And you know, if somebody else hasn't bought it, then maybe you too can have the chance to own a piece of gear that all my friends are since has touched and not in a sexy way. Anyway, this particular unit has got a bypass button on the bottom, which is very handy. It's got an auto fade button, which fades out the, the screen. And we also have a source selection button. So if I press source select two, uh, you can see the screen goes blank and that's because I've only got one source input plugged into it at the moment. But you know, that's pretty cool. I'm going to talk you through some of these controls. We have the chroma section, which gives us change over color and tint. We have detail, which is basically sharpness. And we have the pick set fader. I don't really know what that does. Maybe I should have read the manual. Now we also have a video enhancement gain knob, which is, or a slider, which is a gen, you know, a general a gain signal booster thing, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, the effects are on at the moment, but if I hit the bypass switch, they go off. And this bypass switch is unaffected by any of the modifications. So you can always get back to the source signal if you need to, which is quite handy actually, especially for playing live. On the top here, I have added one, two, three, four, five different knobs or potentiometers. These control a variety of different effects, which will expand the usefulness of this unit somewhat. I've also added a bunch of switches. Three of these are moment, uh, sorry, latching switches, which turn on or off an effect or make connections because they don't necessarily always turn off the effect depending on the section and this particular switch here disables or enables this particular potentiometer and the reason for that is because this blue knob here can get a bit wild a bit out of control it's a, got a bit of you know spunk to it now if you're watching my crt tv up here you'll see a red band going down the screen that isn't actually happening on the tv or as a result of any of the enhancement units or anything that is just because of the way this camera for whatever fucking reason picks up the scan refresh rate or whatever the fuck it is. I don't really know. If anybody knows how to fix that, please tell me. But just know that it'll go away. If you ignore it, it'll go away. Now, I'll kind of play about with some of these knobs and switches and show you some of the effects you can get. Bear in mind that the effect you get will vary wildly depending on the input signal. So if you use something that is quite drab in color and everything coming in, then you're not going to get some rainbow cacophony of colors coming out of it. These CMAT units in particular are not known for having wild, wild, crazy effects in the world of video enhancement units, but they are, they do have some useful and unique effects, I would say. So uh, I'll show you some of them. Anyway, these first two knobs are fairly vanilla. They kind of just, you know, play about with contrast and color, which tends to be a common feature of this unit. Now, if I start to engage these switches, that's where things get really interesting because this will invert the signal or invert some kind of part of the signal. I don't know whether it's chroma or luma or whatever the hell it is. But if you start to muck about with 
the dials here, you can see that we get some really interesting effects. And this demonstrates neatly one of the things that is common to a lot of video enhancement units, which is the knobs and switches on the front of your unit don't become useless. They do actually have a big impact on the effects up the top here. So uh, if you're looking at one of these things or any kind of video enhancement unit that's been circuit bent, always play about with the stock switches as well, because they can really make a difference. Now, if I engage the second switch, this is also a kind of inversion switch. And this gives us some you know wild interest interesting effects here. I like how the blues start to come through on the lips. But really what I like to do is if you turn this one on and this one off, you start to get into this kind of half inverted, weird contrasty situation. And if you play about with the sliders, you can start to dial in some really interesting effects. And actually this one here, I think is one of my favorite effects of this unit. And actually maybe one of my all time favorite effects of any video enhancer box thing, because this is one that I haven't really found in anything else. You can see that you can start to, you get almost like a, a cross process, like bleach bypass look if, you're familiar with those terms from the world of photography. It's almost like a uh, like a, a pop poppy, I don't know, fucking what do you call it? Andy Warhol style saturated look with the lips here, and then going into that kind of cyberpunk, steampunk, I don't know, I'm just saying words now, but you get the idea, it looks cool as fuck. And hopefully I'll be able to record a bit of this after so you can see it, not just with my face in the background. But if we turn off or turn on the bypass, I guess I should say, you can see just how different it looks from the original. It's kind of high contrast, very detailed, and I think looks pretty fucking cool. Now, if I start to mess about with some of the other things, I'll come back to the blue one in a minute because that's our wild card. You can see that that switch really ups the kind of bleach bypass look and you can start to get into some really wild territory with inversions. The blues start to muck about with the color palette and pretty interesting. You start to get kind of like a dirty filter or a dirty mixer look to it. Of course, playing about with all of these, you get some really interesting, horrifying, but, oh, look at that. I've not seen that before. Yeah. So you get the gist. Now the final part of this, which I have to show you before I go on and kind of just show you the effects, is the blue one, the blue knob, the fabled blue knob. So if I turn on the switch, that means this is activated, right? Because if it's off, you know, nothing happens. But if I turn this on and I dial it up, this is where you should start to see some lines. Now you won't see any lines here because it doesn't always come up on every effect, right? But if we start to muck about with the signal strength and everything else. You get these really interesting dots, which are kind of wild. Yeah. For some reason, I really like those dots. They are quite hard to control, but particularly pleasing when you find a nice, look at that. Ooh. But as with everything, it's just a matter of fucking about with the different controls until, I don't know, until you find something you like. So I, yeah, uh, that's the SEMA Pro Edit 3. I think this is an interesting box. Uh, it's a bit more affordable than some of the other video enhancer units, at least the one that I'm selling is, because I don't think it's as wild as some of the others. However, you can get some really cool effects out of it, and I think it would be a really, you know, a nice unit for somebody who's getting into the world of video art. And I have to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to keep it purely for this look, because this kind of ultra cross-processed, bleach bypass look just speaks to me, speaks to me somewhere deeply. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is run through some recording of just samples of me messing about with different footage. If you're interested in buying this, you know what to do. The link's below. Thanks for watching and um, see you later.